Here's a success story, a story about a salesperson who built a strong personal brand. Three years ago, a business that will remain nameless for obvious reasons, hired Sue and Barry as salespeople in one of their state branches. Sue and Barry started with similar skills and experience. Over these last three years, each has been quite successful. However, their career outcomes have been very different. Let's explore Barry's story first. He relied on discussions with his state manager in HR to help him plan his personal development and career. He would undertake whatever training uh, the company offered. Most of that turned out to be product-related training with limited skills development. Sound familiar? Barry also relied on the company's systems and processes. The systems were good cloud-based applications, such as the CRM they used, uh, and a good lead generation tool and other selling tools. The only external system not provided by the company that Barry used was LinkedIn. And that was purely to maintain his resume and connect with his past and present colleagues. So by comparison, let's have a look at Sue's story. Sue did much the same as Barry, but with one big difference. She leveraged considerable external resources to develop her capabilities and build influence. She sought out and attended conferences, seminars and webinars. Some were relevant to building her sales skills, but more importantly, most were relevant to her customers, her customer business and the industries in which the customers operated. She wanted to be a domain expert in that industry. She identified also some external online sales training that was ideal for developing her selling skills. She subscribed to the blogs of some key sales masterminds, soaking up much of the modern thinking about selling methods and skills and regularly tested these with her own customers. In addition to the systems that her employer provided, she subscribed and actively used a number of external tablet-based sales apps, plus cloud-based systems such as LinkedIn, Dropbox and Google Apps. She used these apps to help her engage with her customers much more effectively and to maintain data and content that was of value to her, such as her customer and industry contacts, uh, information about her customers, uh, knowledge about the customer's industry and insight into the changes that were occurring that, in that industry. She used LinkedIn to position herself as having an understanding of a customer's industry and their business drivers. She wrote thought-provoking articles on LinkedIn about how her customers had solved their business problems and embraced new growth opportunities. She actively connected with customers and with industry leaders, industry thought leaders in the customers in, uh, industry. She joined groups and forums that were relevant to her customers and were seen to regularly comment, providing valuable thoughts and insights. She even established her own blog and Twitter account dedicated to business. In doing so, she developed a strong reputation in her field and, and a, a very strong following in, in the industry, from the industry in which she was selling to. And the outcome, she substantially exceeded her sales numbers. After three years, she was headhunted by a leading provider in the industry. She accepted a very senior sales position with an excellent package. In the new role, she was able to hit the ground running. She leveraged her personal systems for her contact information and other valuable content, all of which was still fully accessible through the cloud for her. Mind you, she was careful that she did not keep any intellectual property owned by a previous employer. The company Sue had left was forced to hire an experienced salesperson to replace her and provided them with a much better package than what Barry was on. Barry's career seemed to be progressing slowly, despite achieving his numbers two of the last three years. Why am I telling you this? 
The reality is that most salespeople, including you, will work for at least seven employers during your career. And the employers know this. Too often because of this, they're reluctant to invest heavily in the development of their salespeople. And some employers prefer to hire experienced champions to stay ahead of the competition rather than invest in their, their existing people. If you are not there already, I recommend you become one of these professional sales champions. How? Well, you need to invest in your personal development. You need to take control of your career. It's yours. You are ultimately responsible for it. You need to build a strong personal brand, as Sue, as Sue did, uh, with focus on delivering value to your target industry, your target customers. So how do you do that? That's a subject for another day. Let's, let's do that in the future. In the meantime, if you got value from this, this video, I like it, share it if you think your peers will get value from it, and please comment below.